Okay, again, calculate, calculate. So for this one, let's see, plot. Oil density first, I want to check. Okay, not really match. Okay. Above saturation pressure, the CCE and differential liberation provide equivalent results as the composition is constant since no gas is evolved that could be removed from the cells. Okay, as such, as we already observed in the CC experiment, whilst the US reproduces the general trend, it generally overestimates. Okay, although the trend is good, the trend, but overall it overestimates. Gas oil ratio. In my case, not really match. Okay. What about the oil formation volume factor? Sorry, redraw. Yeah, this is the current condition. The calculated GOR not relatively close. Okay, and exit. And then go back to the main. Now, this parameter experiment can be accessed via calculation in the taskbar and then separator. Okay, in the windows that opens, specify the pressure and temperature of the differential separator stage, which should have been saved from the first time we assess separator experiment after defining the pseudo properties. That's why we have this one. Press calculate and then calculate. Calculation is complete. Okay. Now, as we can see, this gas oil ratio this one 668, and then this one 816. Okay, the calculated liquid density, which is 816 kilogram per meter cube, compares well with the reported value, which is 814.5 kilogram per meter cube, and the calculated GOR, which is 668, also compares well to the reported value, which is 661. Okay, so... Let's go back to this one. So if you read the manual, you can see that at this point, they don't match. So at least we get the process right. At least we know the, the, the process until now. oil ratio match quite well i don't know what happened in my case maybe i can do better some modification oil formation volume factor not really good so here in summary the os currently provides an adequate description of most of the fluid properties it tests the liquid density and gor from the separator experiment the liquid density and viscosity above saturation from the cce and also the GOR and oil formation volume factor from the differential liberation experiment. 
However, a current shortcoming is the EOS inability to produce the measured densities below saturation from the differential liberation experiment. Okay, now take a moment to consider these outcomes and steps above to develop a possible regression strategy. Okay, an example of development of possible regression strategy for this fluid can be seen. Yeah, so at the end of the day, we need to work alone without the results provided by the manual. But given the time that we have, I will not do further. But if you are interested, you can read this example, read this guideline. Like for this one, create a list of the current objectives and rank them in order of declining importance. Like this, consider what pseudo properties pro affect each of the objectives and by how much. Like this, consider how changing the selected properties for the regression affect the other objectives and consider which parameters would be more difficult to readjust at a later stage and thus decide on a suitable anchor point. Okay, so if you're interested, you can read this message. But we still have best practice like this one. If you open the drop-down menu, you can read this guideline, the best practice, primary regression. This is for the quality check and then validation. Okay. And then this is the regression summary. What to do next? By the way, let's check the viscosity regression. Okay, so I think we can stop it right now and hopefully we can cover the regression at the next opportunity. So clearly we still have many things to learn. Okay, so at least we have done so far. And then this one, copy existing stream call it matching first trial okay so we have imputed the oil the the composition and then we input the laboratory data the separator experiment differential liberation constant composition expansion all right, and then we try to match. We generate the phase envelope. We try to match the liquid density and then viscosity and then the gas oil ratio. And we have done so far, but currently at this, at this state, at this condition, we still haven't got a satisfactory match. So in the next opportunity, maybe we can modify a little bit and then do further regression to obtain better match. Okay, so I think we can call it a day. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next PVTP videos. Thank you.